what's up everybody the con man here we are going to do some geocaching we're at ground zero at a geocache it's a tiny library let's go check it out that was probably the easiest geocache i've ever found <laughs> Is that, look inside and i found it huh. how about that do, 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 do. Zero six zero nine twenty two. The con man forty five. One cache down. Let's go find some more. I was about to go get this one geocache that was right next to that one, little library one, but the problem was it was right next to a pool, and because it's summertime, there's a lot of people there, so I couldn't go for it. So I have to go for that one a different day. This one, I'm at a, going to a park. There's three geocaches there. Hopefully we can get them all. One of them is a tree climb. One of them, or two of them are. So we'll have to see. I got shoes. But the question is, can I climb a tree? <laughs> oh, who knows? This is a caster's dream. Nobody here. It's actually at a softball, softball stadium. There's a couple over here, over here, and this is great. Kona Ice would be so great right now, but of course it's not operating. But let's go find this geocache, or these couple ones. And it feels so good right now, because the overcast, oh yeah, I'm living it up. Uh, all right let's sign it they made me work for that one let me tell you <laughs> all right perfect the next one booyah and it feels great when you keep finding caches Man. it's great <laughs> and i really like it when geocaches that are right next to each other damn a lot of people found this excuse my friend perfect let's put it back this next one is a tree climb so Let's see what this one's all about. It has four favorite points and it's called Up, Up, Up. Got about 500 feet and then we're there. Well, but it's definitely not a tree climb. I see the cache, but there's one problem. You can see it, it's all the way up there. And this guy did not bring any of his tots. It's mad. It makes me mad because I can see it and it's just laughing at me. I know you're laughing at me. Oh, I wish I was tall or had something. All right. Let's go find some more geocaches. So, so I just checked the geocaching map. There is a park two minutes away that has two geocaches. This time I made sure one is a tree climb and the other one's an LPC. So, let's go check those out so this one's an lpc it's right there but i need to be very sneaky so i'll be right back i was about to go get it but then i hear that there was a car on and i saw somebody in the car just staring at me at this lamppost i'm like well let's wait a sec all right perfect they're leaving let's go get it really fast everyone's favorite <coughs> a micro a micro LPC. Good night, people. <laughs> cool. You wrote the name. 
I basically drove like 300 feet to get to the next one. And I have exactly 300 feet till I'm at the next one. So yeah, this one is a tree climb. Let's see what I can do. So I didn't know about this, but there's a mini golf course at this place. I'm at, it's called Black Bob Park. And they got water park. They got walking trails and stuff. Baseball fields. I'm pretty sure they got tennis courts too. So yeah, lots of muggles. <laughs> So, you gotta be very stealthy on this one. It's right there. Alrighty. There she is. I feel really bad because I got the geocache, but the line snapped. So now I'm gonna have to message the geocache owner. I would have put it back up in the tree, but it would have just fell out of the tree. So I messaged the cache owner to see what they say. But this is a pretty cool geocache. So, and I don't have any string or anything on me because I would do it myself. But yeah, I feel really bad. So hopefully they can message me soon. If not, I guess I'll have to just hide it on the ground, which I feel bad. I feel so bad, but it was weird because like, it looked like it was about to break and as soon as I touched it, it snapped. And it was pretty high up there. So, we're gonna see what the cash owner has to say. But I have to go home soon because it's getting pretty hot out, so. This is a pretty cool geocache. I see why it has 15 favorite points now. So they messaged me back and I put it at the base of the tree and I kind of covered it up a little bit so muggles couldn't see. But I sent him a photo of where to look so he knows where to find it. All right, we made it back to the car. I feel pretty good about that bison too. It was a four difficulty, four terrain, and I got that. Oh yeah, but I still feel bad that I kind of broke it. But anyways, we found five caches, and I feel good. I gotta cut them under my arm. So I'm gonna go home, clean that up, do a little chores, and then relax for the rest of the day. And then tomorrow is Friday. I got out of work early today, so that was nice. Well, I hope you enjoy this little adventure. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, my friends, Stay classy.